Agnihatsu, and welcome to the Busan Midnight Movie. I'm your host, Donald. March of the Monsters continues tonight with Gappa, the Trifibian Monster. But before we get to that, we have the second episode of Zoro's Black Whip. Last time, Barbara staged a breakdown to get some alone time with James Bradley, but Vic arrived to play the third wheel. Bandits showed up and shot Bradley, but were chased off by the Black Whip, who also got shot. Before he died, Bradley admitted he and Vic had been longtime partners and gave his blessing to Vic and Barbara becoming a couple. Later, the Black Whip succumbed to his own injuries and died, leaving Barbara to take over the family jobs of newspaper editor and bondage accessory spokesperson. Bandits tried to hijack a shipment with a new newspaper press and captured Vic in the process. Barbara, as the Black Whip, chased the bandits down, but not before they sent the cart with both Vic and the new press careening over a cliff. And now, episode 2 of Zoro's Black Whip, which I'm sure will actually feature Zoro, Tomb of Terror. Welcome back! Tonight's feature is Dai Kyoju Gappa, or Gappa the Trifibian Monster. Explorers in search of exotic creatures discover the prehistoric monster Gappa and take it to Japan to display in an amusement park. The creature's parents come after their baby, attacking Tokyo as they do so. BT dubs, Trifibian means equally adept on land, in the air, and at sea. You could joke that kaiju films are just about guys in rubber suits stomping on model villages, and while that's certainly the pleasure, it's the human stories that differentiate the films and make them compelling. You have the love triangle at the heart of the original Godzilla, compared to Kenny who likes turtles at the heart of Gamera. While tonight's film has echoes of both of those stories, it sadly never commits to the former, but fortunately never burdens us with the latter. Instead, the human element that makes this feature stand out is blackface, or to be more precise, full-on black body paint. The island that the baby Gappa is found on is populated by people wearing makeup that ranges from, wait, is, is that? to, yes, yes it absolutely is. I wanted to flag that up here at the start so you wouldn't be caught off guard by it, but still, it's a choice. With that said, here's tonight's feature, Gappa, the Trifibian Monster. Tonight's feature is Gappa, the Trifibian Monster, and as with our last feature, Gamera, fans of Mystery Science Theater 3000 may find this film to be slightly familiar. After all, didn't they do a kaiju film about a baby monster being rescued from the city by its parent? They did, and that film was Gorgo, a British take on the Godzilla formula. This movie is a Japanese take on Gorgo. Yup, it's turtles all the way down. Gamera's a good turtle. Shut up, Kenny. Before the movie started, I mentioned its use of blackface, but let's not forget its charming, cheerful, casual misogyny as well. Don't be silly. You're supposed to be a news photographer. But... Then go back to Tokyo and learn to cook. Marry some little office worker. Have babies. Stay home and wash diapers. What a lovely picture. At least it's not boring on top of being racist and misogynistic. The second half of the film was where things pick up, though. Gappa's parents arrive, we get to see their sharp character design, and they smash stuff up good. So enjoy the lush cinematography, the inventive monsters, and all the smashy smashy yet to come in the second half of Gappa, the Trifibian Monster. And that was tonight's feature, Gappa the Trifibian Monster, and I don't know why the little girl's dialogue at the end wasn't translated. To be fair, that wasn't the strangest choice made in this film. Here's a preview of our next feature. March of the Monsters continues with a film about the greatest threat facing 1950s America, The Wandering Crooner. Ready to cry, there was a sparrow, gray little sparrow. No one knows when he might sing again. Even the police live in terror of him. Covering him regardless of the effect it might have on others. Our only hope for salvation is a benevolent creature working quietly behind the scenes. Will we be saved by the giant Gila monster? Find out next time on the Busan Midnight Movie. How'd you ever get me in that bed anyway? I carried you in there and I sat on you till you fell asleep. That's right, we're leaving Japan to see how Americans do giant monsters and being disappointed by the answer. But hey, Godzilla vs. Kong is about to come out and I'm sure this time the US will get Godzilla right. Until next time, Kamsamni Don, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed yourself, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, stay safe, stay inside, and stay spooky.